I'm Rafa Bartoszewski. I've lived in a city for all my life, but I always knew that the best and the most important things are outside. That's why I want to take you. Closer to the nature. Last time when I was in the forest, I found an interesting spider, so I came back to find it again. Ok, not the same individual, but generally the member of the wolf spider family, which will carry a small bag. I was afraid that it would be like looking for a needle in a high stack, but it was doable. Finally, I saw something running through the grass, and it gave me hope. It's him. Actually, she. The small spider, which is a member of the wolf spider family, is one of the most common spiders in the world. Generally, the species which belong to this family have colors in the shades of brown, grey or black, with the admixtures of other colors, so these, which could be an effective camouflage in the natural environment. When I am in a forest, usually I don't look for the spiders, but they find me, because quite often I walk through the webs which hang between the trees. But these are not the webs built by wolf spiders. These spiders walk on the ground. They are good runners and we can find them mostly when they walk between the fallen leaves and pass a maze of grass. Some species, instead of spider web between trees, eagerly dig holes in the ground in which they spend their time but which are padded with silk. For them, it can be a shelter and a place where they can flee from the predator or they can hide in a hole and wait for a prey which will walk nearby. But different strategy of hunting doesn't need setting traps. These spiders hunt actively. They have very good eyesight and they don't create webs like most of the common spiders, like orb spiders, but they chase their prey and attack it on the ground. To be successful, they must be properly prepared for that kind of hunting. The wolf spiders have good eyesight and they rely heavily on their eyes when they hunt, which is untypical in the spider's world. The configuration of eyes of the members of this family is characteristic and it consists of six eyes facing forward and two on the sides of the cephalothorax, so animals have wide field of view. They hunt for a variety of types of invertebrates and their size depends on the size of the spider. If they find the one that can be tasty, they catch it 
bite and kill it with a poison. One more trait can be useful to catch a prey. If she is very fast, and I am kneeling on the anthill. During the courtship, when the male meets a female, he displays to look good, and he shows her his legs. Some of them have even special leg ornamentation, which can help to impress females. In the family of wolf spiders, females are usually bigger than males, but not on the basis of this trait I recognize that this individual is a female. The most striking thing when we observe the spider is the egg sac which is carried by it. The manner how it is produced is very interesting, because although these spiders do not build the webs to catch their prey, they can use the silk very well. When the time for laying eggs comes, the female finds a quiet place where she prepares a soft and thin layer of the silk just under her abdomen. Then she releases a drop of a liquid and lays the eggs into it. When she does it, she starts covering this drop with a soft layer of silk to protect the eggs, which are inside of it, and after that she covers it with a tougher layer which is a better protection, and with a waterproof layer. The ready egg sac will be carried by her all the time, as we can see here. She will run and even hunt with it. The location of the egg sac on the back of the body is characteristic for the wolf spiders. When the young spiders will leave the eggs after several weeks, they will also leave the egg sac and go onto their mother to ride on her. They will connect with her by their own silk. We are looking at a really good mother. I would like to stay here longer. I would like to see how the youngs leave the egg sac. It's a pity, but this female took her bag with her and walked somewhere into the forest. Only ants and uh, flies stayed here, but they are biting me all the time. Even yesterday, one of them bit me at the very tip of my nose, and I don't want to repeat this. <laughs> 